السلام عليكم ورحمة الله أنا علي الغزالي وأهلا وسهلا بكم في اللسان الحمد لله we've covered the first two dialogues of chapter number 11 and today إن شاء الله we go through the third and last uh, dialogue of the chapter so open your books on الحوار الثالث of chapter number 11 الوحدة الحادية عشرة page number 200 and 98 okay we have a hawar between ahmed and badr ولكن في المدينة جامعات ومستشفيات وشركات وأسواق وفي المدينة أيضا ضوضاء وتلوث وازدحام لماذا تسكن في القرية وأنت تعمل في المدينة؟ ليس هناك مشكلة كيف تذهب إلى المدينة؟ أذهب بالقطار كم تستغرق الرحلة إلى المدينة؟ تستغرق ساعة ونصف الساعة تقريبا. Okay, now let's try, let's go through the uh, حوار and try to understand. So Ahmed asked, أين تسكن الآن؟ Where do you live? Where do you reside? الآن يا بدر. Today, now. قال بدر أسكن في القرية. So basically, this hiwar is a comparison between al qariya and al madina. In modern Arabic, the word qariya refers to a village, and the word madina refers to a city. Okay. However, in classical Arabic, the words qariya and madina are very similar and used interchangeably. Okay. And actually, if you read Surah Kahf in the Quran. Um, you would uh, find that uh, we, you would find that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala referred to the same place using the word qariya one time and the word medina the other time when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said فَانْطَلَقَ حَتَّى إِذَا أَتَيَا أَهْلَ قَرِيَةِ okay that's the first ayah and then later on on the same page Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said أَمَّا الْجِدَارُ فَكَانَ لِغُلَامَيْنِ يَتِيمَيْنِ فِي الْمَدِينَةِ So the same place, Allah called it one time Qariya and the other time Medina which shows that these two words are used interchangeably. Okay? However, in modern Arabic we make a distinction. Uh, we say Qariya is a village and Medina is a city. So Badr is saying, I live in the village. أَسْكُنُ فِي الْقَرِيَةِ And Ahmad uh, asked again, لماذا تركت المدينة? We learned the verb ترك يترك previously. We said it means to leave, to let go. So لماذا تركت المدينة? Why did you leave the city? Okay. And المدينة here is not referring to المدينة as in the, the city of the Prophet. He was talking about the city in general. Why did you leave the city and move to the village? لماذا تركت المدينة? He said, القرية Hadi'ah. The word hadi'ah means quiet or calm or peaceful. Al qarya to hadi'ah. The, the, the village is quiet. Wal hawa'u naqi. Hawa' is air. And naqi means pure or clean. Al hawa'u naqi. The air is pure. And then Ahmad said, ولكن but of course the word لكن means but okay but في المدينة جامعات in the um, city there is جامعات universities ومستشفيات uh, hospitals وشركات companies وأسواق shops of course جامعات is the جمع of جامعة مستشفيات جمع of مستشفى شركات جمع شركة and aswaq is the jam of suq. Okay. Badr then answered or said, 
في المدينة أيضا The city also has ضوضاء وتلوث وازدحام ضوضاء means uh, loud noise okay loud noise وتلوث تلوث is pollution and ازدحام of course means crowdedness or traffic okay so basically Ahmad is sort of naming the uh, the, the advantages of Al Medina, but Badr is mentioning the disadvantages of Medina. Dawda, loud noise, talawuth, pollution, is the harm, crowdedness. And then Ahmed asked him, لماذا تسكن في القرية وأنت تعمل في المدينة? Why do you reside in the village? Why do you live in the village? وأنت تعمل. This wow, by the way, is not the uh, regular. Wow, that's often translated and. No, the wow here is known in Arabic as wawul hal, which roughly translates to while. Okay? So he's asking him, why do you live in the village while you work in the city? Okay? So, wa anta ta'amalu, yani while you work in the city. Badr said, ليس هناك مشكلة هناك means there ليس هناك means there is no ليس هناك مشكلة there is no problem there is no مشكلة and then Ahmed asked him كيف تذهب إلى المدينة how do you go to this city Badr said أذهب بالقطار the word قطار of course means train so he said I go by train أذهب بالقطار and then Ahmed finally asked كم تستغرق الرحلة إلى المدينة؟ How long does it last the journey to the city؟ كم تستغرق الرحلة إلى المدينة؟ Badr answered تستغرق ساعة ونصف So it takes one and a half hours Okay, ساعة is one hour ونصف is half an hour تقريبا approximately Okay So let's go through the new words again to make sure we don't forget them uh, we said Qarya is a village Medina is a city and we said in classical Arabic they are used uh, interchangeably the word had means calm or quiet the word Hawa is a naqi is pure Dawda um, is loud noise talawuth pollution and is diham is of course crowdedness or traffic uh, we learned about wawul hal, the wow that's tra translated while, okay? And of course, we learned the word qitar as well. Qitar is a train, and uh, that's about it. I hope you found this hiwar beneficial. And if you have any question regarding this or regarding anything else, leave it in the comment section below, and I'll be uh, more than happy to answer all, your, all of your questions. And. Uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and I'll be seeing you very soon. Assalamu alaikum.